Today, two guests from Ashland. We have John Featherson, who formerly ran for a state representative, and he's now a political consultant and is on the Board of Health. And we also have John Kerwin, who's a long, as he said, long-time Ashland uh, selectman, and he's also a political consultant. So here we go. Gentlemen, what are you looking for tonight? Well, this is democracy at its finest. We're going to just pick our next leader for the next six years, you know, from Mass GOP. You know, two great candidates, Rick Green, a nice candidate, uh, young to the political game, and, you know, Kristen Hughes, a truck type, you know, tested and uh, tried, uh, you know, political consultant, you know. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, it's going to define our party, you know, good or bad, for the next six years. So I'm excited about tonight. One of these two fine folks is going to be our chairman. One of them's going to get more votes than the other. We're not going to really have a, someone that's going to lose tonight. We are going to get. We are going to have someone that the whole party is going to be able to get behind, and get the party back in track. What do you say is the main problem? We have a dentist identity crisis here in Massachusetts. So Tell us what that means. Well, I mean, some people will say Scott Brown's a rhino. Some people will say that uh, the party's either too conservative, doesn't, it isn't attuned to the social needs. I would agree with that. As What's a rhino? Republican in name only. Republican in name only. Do you agree with that? I think all Republicans are Republicans. I think that's kind of a bad connotation. And we need to get, get beyond that. I mean, Democrats, just like the Republicans, they have their far left and they have the conservative Democrats, but somehow they were able to come together. We have to learn how to do the same thing. And that's what we're looking to do over the next couple of years. How important do you think it is to get the grassroots organized? Well, you know, what is grassroots? You, you see that a lot tonight on some of the signs. What is grassroots? I'm a party. I'm a minor league build up to the major league type of thing. So if you're saying that that's grassroots, I would agree with that. Okay. But in the last election was the party down. That wasn't so successful. But I think there can be an in between. We need Scott Brown back in D.C. from the Republican standpoint. We need Charlie Baker to become our next governor. And in the next election cycle, we've got to get five to ten state reps elected. So if that's grassroots, then I agree with you. So. To me, grassroots are the people that vote. And, uh, as far as the Republicans are concerned, we need to get our folks out to vote. That is our grassroots. All right, one key question for you as you wind this up. They say that uh, around 52% or more of the electorate are independents. Well, we prefer independents. How important do you deem them and how do you plan to reach them? Well, for the Massachusetts Republican Party to survive, they have to get the, that unenrolled or the independent vote because the numbers just don't work for us if we, if we don't have them. And that's where the Republican Party needs to be more attuned and more sensitive to the social issues out there because the only way that this party is going to survive is that we reach out to them and convince them that Republicans do care about these social issues and they're important to the party. Well, as far as the independents, it's about reaching the demographics. It's 52% of the voters. It's 52% of the voters, at least, and the demographics are all over the place. It's up to us to be sitting in demographic, reach those demographics, and, and have good solutions for their issues. Are you optimistic about the game? Always. 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 Grand old party go. will survive. Yes. We're going to go that up. Thank you, gentlemen. Enjoy the Hey, you know, thank you to Extra Extra. You guys are doing a great job, and you've added a lot of value to the journalistic integrity of framing and framing so Congratulations. Well, thank you. Very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.